Hello and welcome back to Base Series. Today we will talk and learn about Aeroplane by Red Hot Chili Peppers. This is a classic baseline and a must learn if you are a Chili Peppers fan. Even if you are not a Chili Peppers fan, I think this song is a great practice tool to up your slap bass game. This song starts with the G at the third fret of the E string. You will slap that. Then you will slap a death note. If you don't know what a death note is, you will basically dampen your strings with your first, with your left hand side and slap or pop from the right hand side, all right? I'm muting the strings with my left hand and I'm playing with my right hand. That's the death note or ghost note. You slap a ghost note at the E string, then you pluck the fifth fret, the octave. Then you will play another slap death note at the E string and pluck the fifth fret again. All right? Then you will play the 5th fret and 6th fret of the E string, both slap notes. Then you play an octave at the 5th fret of the A string, the D note, and pluck the octave, the 7th fret of the G string, and play this line. Now, which fingers I'm going to use on the left hand side? You will play the root note with your index finger and the higher octave with your pinky. Then you will play the fifth fret with your index finger and sixth fret with your middle finger so you can switch up to the fifth fret of the A string easily with your index finger. Then you pluck the octave again with your pinky. Then you play the fourth fret of the A string with your index finger, then you will play the third fret. Then you'll play the same pattern, that not on the slap side, octave on the block side. After that you will play the 5th fret of the A string and the 6th fret of the A string. After you play the 6th fret, you will play a death note at the E string, then you will pluck the 3rd fret of the D string. After that you will play another death note of the, at the A string, then pluck the 5th fret. This way with the line. Let's take it from the top. Now this is the basic pattern and we will play that over and over throughout the song but there will be some licks and feels. Let's get right into them. At the second time around. After you play that pattern you will hammer on from the 5th fret to the 7th fret. All right. This will be the lick. Then you will play. At that note, at the A string, pluck the 5th fret of the D string. Another that note, pluck the 5th fret of the G string. After that you play two slap that notes and one pluck that note. Now at the third time around you will play All right. after, that, after that you will play another slap note and pluck the fifth fret then you will rest and play a death note Okay then you will play a hammer on from 5th fret to the 7th fret at the A string. Then you will play a death note at the A string, pluck the 5th fret of the D string, another death note, pluck the 3rd fret. Then 
Then you will slide from the third fret of the A string to the first fret of the A string after 60 note rest. Then you'll play another death note at the A string. Then you'll play the third fret of the E string DG. The pattern repeats itself. Next time out we'll play. This pattern, which is after you play a regular slap bass pattern, you will play the fifth fret, then you will slide up to the sixth fret, and then you play the octave. I'm sorry, after you slide, you will slap another note, then you play the octave, then you play the fifth fret, and octave again. Now, next time around, after you play the 4th fret, you will play the 3rd fret, then you play a dead note, then pluck the 5th fret, rest, dead note. The same pattern. Alright. Then you hammer on from the 1st fret of the A string, I'm sorry, the E string, to the 3rd fret of the E string. Then you play a dead note at the E string. Plug the first fret of the A string, another that note at the A E string, plug the third fret of the E string. Then you will hammer on from the first fret to the third fret, and another that note at the E string. Let's start from the top for this pattern. After you play that, instead of playing the 5th fret and 6th fret, we play the open string, open A string, and the 1st fret. Then you play the octave. After the octave, you play the 2nd fret of the A string, then you will play the 3rd fret of the A string and an octave pattern. Then you will play 5th fret of the A string, 6th fret of the A string. Then you will play a death note at the E string. Then pluck the 3rd fret of the D string and the 5th fret of the D string. Alright, hang in there, this is the last pattern. After you play that, you will play the 5th fret, 6th fret, slide to the 7th fret, then you play the 8th fret. Alright, this is how you play the ivory plane. I know there are lots of tricks and licks to learn, but they are basically, from the core, they are basically the same thing. And after you get the grasp of it, after you get the feel of it, I think they are easy to play. If you want the drum track or the full notation, they are at my Patreon page. See you on the next one.